guys, it's Shannon. And Paul. And we're out and about doing yep. errands again. And a lot of errands. So many errands. That's what happens when you buy a new house, though. Yes, it is. There's just a lot of never ending stuff. Yeah. Okay, so right now we're sitting in a parking lot of a store. Which parking lot are we sitting in, Shannon? <laughs> we're at the container store again. Again. This third is time's a charm. Third time in <laughs> about a week. Evil, uh, the, evil place. The second time. So. So we told we told one of the cashiers here this is our first time ever being here. And we were here last this week, time last for week. For the first time. <laughs> and then we had to come back on well we didn't have to, but we came back on Saturday so Shannon could get, I needed more hangers. She needed more hangers. So should we say how many hangers? Yeah. Yes, we should. I can't count that high. <laughs> we had they come in packs of ten. We had what, twenty five packs we purchased? Yeah. Yeah. And we're here for more. So so Shannon <laughs> got 25 packs of huggable hangers. Yep. Um, all of her clothes are hung up. Yep. And she actually has one full pack to spare. I do. However, we're, there's the worry. <laughs> well, so I'm worried that what if they discontinue the color blush and then I get more clothes and then they're not going to match. And It's that's... a whole thing. <laughs> Why would I get more clothes, though? Okay, so I'm an enabler with the clothes. Yes, I've, I've said that before. I don't know if I've ever said that before in a, in, in one of our vlogs, but I, I don't tell know. Pe I tell people that a lot. I'm like the world's greatest enabler. I want to get a T-shirt that says that. You should. Yeah, world's greatest enabler. Oh, I didn't tell Paul. I saw the funniest comment. I'm okay. sorry, I don't remember who left the comment, but they said that we need to get shirts made that say "I don't trust blonde spiders." Oh yeah, I saw that. Comment that too. is that was so awesome. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> So if you guys saw that vlog, you'll know what that means. Yep. <laughs> I loved that comment. That, that was, was a great, great comment. Anyway, yeah. So, so we're here. Yeah. I think I'm going to get like two more packs of hangers. Yes. Yeah, so that, that'll be, and that's at my suggestion. Um, I'd probably again, buy world, more. World's biggest enabler. Really? Probably. Well, I'm not that much of an enabler. I think, I think, having, that much I think having 30, 30 extra hangers is a good number because I think as some new things enter the wardrobe, some older things can go away. Um, well, yeah, and I had mentioned that on one of the vlogs that right now I have a lot of clothes because I had gained weight and got all new clothes and now I'm losing weight. So I have like several different sizes in the closet right now. So hopefully some of those will be going. Yeah, yeah. Plus just some clothes that you don't wear just from the st from a stylistic point of view. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah, there, there's just that. So. All right, so, so anyway. we're going to go in there and buy two more packs of hangers, if they even have any more. I think I might have bought them all. And <laughs> then we're going to go back over to the mall today because... We have all kinds of comforter drama. Comforter drama. Comforter I shared, drama. I shared a little bit with you guys. Okay, so we'll just update you real quick sitting here in the car. Why not? Okay, sure. So we... I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the people walking in here. No, no, we can't, we can't film inside it, the container store. It's like a... A joke because a plumber just walked in and now a doctor just walked in yeah, and scrubs. Like, I'm waiting for a priest and a rabbi to show up. If, <laughs> if that happens. <laughs> You've won it, life? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the update. It's getting hot in the car, so we it have is. to talk fast. All right. So we bought the gray comforter or quilt. quilt. I told you that we ended up not liking it, or especially I didn't like it because yeah, it didn't cover like the mattress. So we ordered a duvet cover and a duvet online, and it's the one that we showed you guys in the store, the Paisley one. I think it's the McKenna print. Never thought I'd be a man with a duvet. <laughs> it showed up. It was awesome. We opened it. We, you know, opened the duvet cover. We started, um, well, number one, the duvet we got looked like it had been maybe purchased previously. It didn't look like it was professionally packaged, but that's fine. Whatever. You know, maybe somebody looked at it. I don't know. We took it out, looked great, started trying to tie the duvet cover to the duvet and realized that one whole side of the duvet, all the little like tie down things were broken. Yeah. So we thought, well, maybe we could still make it work. So we put the cover on. It doesn't work. Nope. So we're one doing... side of the duvet is floppy. Yeah. Floppy like the duvets. blanket gets all, the duvet gets all um, like bunched up inside. So we're back to Pottery Barn to exchange that, return the gray one. Yep. Get, buy some pillow shams. shams. Because Paul's now a guy that has decorative 
pillows. I'm telling you. <laughs> this is what happens when you get a new house. You have to get all the new stuff that goes with the new house. Yeah, but we've had new houses before and we never bought pillow shams and decorative pillows. I know. This is what happens when you have an amazing husband that spoils you. Uh, yes. <laughs> That's what he gets for calling me strong and bitter in the other vlog. I wasn't calling you strong and bitter. <laughs> Well, you should Sh be calling me that yeah. because you said that's how you like your women. Yes. Shannon, <laughs> just to clarify things, just to clarify things, Shannon is not, nor she has, has she ever been bitter, in my opinion. And she is strong. So, there you go. <laughs> anyway, so we're going over to Pottery Barn to do that, and we have to go to Belk and get my fishy towels that I showed you guys. We forgot to buy the fishy towels. Yeah, left them all with no fishies. And we probably have to go to Cheesecake Factory and get some lunch because you have to do that it's when you're at the mall. And no, we don't eat the cheesecake. We actually don't. Even though it's delicious, yeah. but we, 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 we have, don't. We have many, many times yes. eaten the cheesecake. But we don't eat it anymore. Yeah, right now we're not eating the cheesecake. Until we decide to be really bad again, and then we'll eat lots of cheesecake. Yes, then there will be no cheesecake. Because Cheesecake Factory has good cheesecake. It's not... Uh, they do. They, they do. I, I like some of their other desserts better. Yeah. But anyway... All right, so we've rambled for like six minutes. We're going to go cool. get our hangers, and then we'll just kind of show you what happens from there. You know with us, you never know what's going to happen. Yeah, don't we gonna don't know what's going to happen. This is yeah. all unscripted. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so success. Paul has the bag in his hand. I, I do. There's Container the store. Container store bag. Two things. Contain yourself. A blush hangers. They're yep. on sale through yep. the middle of May. So... Our car looks funny. It does look funny. We have some dresses going back to Belk. There's some clothes in there for Belk, even though they're in a Target bag. Thank goodness we got the dresses going back and the shirts going back. Otherwise, we'd need another pack of hangers. <laughs> I have some makeup that I need to exchange for a darker color. If you guys have seen my makeup haul, you saw the Lancome foundation. That is way too light for me. There's the duvet that has to go back. Yep. That's the gray quilt. And then we have the leaf for our kitchen table in here because this one has a problem with the locking mechanism. So yeah. they're going to switch it out for us. So Yeah, it's no good when locking mechanisms don't work. That's right. Have we showed the kitchen table and how big it is? Um, a little bit. Oh, okay. okay. Not, not all the way, but a little bit. All right. So, all right. So we're going to go ahead and head over to the mall now and empty this trunk. Yep. That could be like, we could have a TV show. Empty that trunk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Pretty funny. All right, so we tried to film like this little piece of footage for you, and the phone rang, and just there keep being interruptions. <laughs> so we'll see if we can film something without any interruptions. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's become my life now um, with having the the other house fixed up. Um, I've just got people calling all the time about stuff. And if I don't answer the phone, like right then, they don't call back. They don't leave messages. Yeah. And um, oftentimes I'm getting calls from people that I don't know who, who it is. So it's not like they're in my catalog of, of your catalog, of my contacts. They're not in his catalog. My catalog. <laughs> so um, it's actually two days, two days after the footage we filmed yep. in the mall. Um, Technically it's about like one day, 18 hours. Technically. Mm -hmm. So we just thought we'd kind of show you a haul of some of the stuff we bought. And was there anything else we wanted to say? I like some of the comments. We read yeah. some of your comments. So I, I saw one comment that said that you're glad to know you're not the only one that has separate blankets that you sleep with. I was surprised how many of you wrote and said that you have separate blankets too. Because Paul and I thought we were weirdos. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah I'll be honest. I, I'm surprised how many people shared that they have separate blankets as well. That was uh, that was really good and enlightening. Also, made me feel better. A lot of long marriages too. Yes. sixteen so years, there you eighteen go. years. Are the two related? Uh, I think so. Maybe. Yep. So, were you going to say something else when I asked if there was anything you wanted to say? You sounded like you were going to say something. Oh yeah, I've got stuff to say. Uh -oh. uh, maybe I'll say it as we. Oh no. As we're sharing, as we're opening stuff. That sounds dangerous. Oh, okay, stuff so say. we're going to turn the camera around and kind of show you a little haul of the stuff that we got. So I thought we were going to show you the haul, but I so too. Paul has some things that he needs to say. He needs to get off his <laughs> chest. So he's going to get them off his chest right now, and then we'll look at the haul. Okay, so um, so I love shopping with Shannon. I love going out and spending the day with her and, uh, and doing that. And I'm actually having a lot of fun kind of... Um, 
buying some stuff for this new house. That never used to be my thing, but I'm actually enjoying it quite a bit for this house. I'm enjoying it certain things. There are certain things that we're buying that I'm not enjoying. <laughs> Decorative pillows, I'm looking at you. <laughs> um, but I will tell you, Pottery Barn is exhausting. Wait, can I interrupt? Yes, go ahead. I just have to say about the decorative pillow thing. Mm -hmm. So we picked out a decorative pillow, which we'll show, we'll you, show you in a minute. minute. And we finally got one and she told us the price, which was a lot for a decorative a pillow. pillow. And then she said, now would you like the pillow insert that goes with that too? And he just, I thought he was going to die. Cause, you know, it looked like a full pillow, but Pottery Barn, everything has inserts and then the cover. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't think he was prepared for that. It was pretty funny. Yeah, see, and I don't understand that because like we bought our couch, we bought our couch from Pottery Barn. We bought our, uh, our, bed. our bed frame from Pottery Barn. It's not like they sold me the bed frame and then asked, do you want the stuffing in there? <laughs> that would be funny. It was, I'm buying the bed, you know, I'm buying the couch. So, wow. yes, it was very unusual to me. Do you want to? Well, yeah, I thought that's what I was buying. <laughs> okay, that's not why Pottery Barn is exhausting. Um, <clears throat> I love going in there. I, I feel like they have really nice stuff. Um, and I've, I've really enjoyed the stuff that we have gotten from them. We have gone in and we've talked with, with a designer, uh, which is complimentary. Um, in case you want to you know, design a room or redesign your home, yes. that's a complimentary service that they offer. We are not sponsored by Pottery Barn. We don't do nope. anything for saying that. Um, it has truly been a good experience because we have a great person we're working with there. Hi, Leanne, if you're watching. <laughs> um, and she's given us a lot of very good suggestions. And, but it's so tough because it's like we, we have, we've gone in with lists. We've gone in with lists of like, okay, these are the nine things we want to get. And we have the item number, we have the color, and we feel like we know what we want to do. And again, they always ask like a question that leads us down this decorating rabbit hole that is <laughs> just a crack up because it's like, we go in like, okay, well, we want to order this table. We want to order the bank's table and we want to get eight chairs. You can actually look that up on Pottery Barn if you're curious to see what it looks like. Uh, we're getting the Bradford chairs, just, you know, <laughs> just so you know. Um, I might try to list it down yeah. below. And she asked, like, okay, well, what kind of rug were you thinking of putting in? Like, well, I wasn't thinking of that. You know, now we're now all of a sudden we're talking about rugs. Now we're talking about wall decorations. <laughs> or, for example, we were buying a chair for the master bedroom. Yeah. And you have to pick out a fabric color. Mm -hmm. So we were just trying to pick out a fabric color that matched the bed that we ended up with. But then she's like, well, what color rug are you putting? Because we need to make sure that all ties in together. I don't like, know. <laughs> well, I didn't think about a rug. I don't know what we're doing. Yeah. Because so, we're not decorators. We don't know. Yeah, it's, Shannon and I are very visual. And, uh, and we're also fairly easy to please. And we're fairly organized. Shannon is, at least. And so, like <laughs> I said, we kind of went in with a plan. But it's like all these different options they start asking. It's like, I don't know. And we're not that way with any other store. Like when I go to buy a car, I'm very, very easy. Shannon's very easy. It's like, we'll go and be like, okay, this is the car that I want. And these are the options that I need to have. And if it has some extra stuff, that's fine. But, I'm, but I don't need the extra stuff. Pottery Barn is like the only place I walk into when they start talking about the extra stuff. It's like, well, huh. Maybe like I didn't need that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is about that. <laughs> I have no idea what they it is. They pump something in the air. It's something, but like also <laughs> we've gone in now, granted, we we've designed several rooms and we bought a lot of furniture. But each time we've gone into Pottery Barn, it has been several rough, hours. Yeah, roughly a four hour, four hour, five hour uh, you know, I don't want to call it an ordeal because it's not, but it, it it's been like four hours to five hours worth of time in there. And that's with us kind of knowing what we want, which is just crazy. In my head, I'm picturing Spongebob four hours later, <laughs> like from the Spongebob cartoons. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, so. Okay. All right. So now it's time to show you. Did you stuff. get that off your chest? Do you feel better now? For the moment. Anything else you need to vent about? When that decorative pillow comes out, there may be some more. We'll see. Okay. So get a good look at it. It's the last time you're going to see the snowman blanket, hopefully, because we now have a bedspread. We hope. Yep. That's going to work. Okay. So let's start with our haul. Yeah. First uh -oh. start. It says contain yourself, Paul. Yes. So Shannon got two more of the huggable hangers in blush color. Yes. And hopefully, hopefully those will be the last blush hangers we need. Yes. Hopefully. Cause I don't know if we can stand the ridicule. And, and okay, not the ridicule from you guys from yeah. container store yes. <laughs> from the yeah, employees from you guys there. It's totally fine. The container store, I just don't know. <laughs> um, 
yeah so we read a lot of comments about the hangers and those hangers just make me happy and i love them and they're beautiful and they just make me happy so yep. that's why i bought them all right next up we have from belk Belk. shannon got her fishy towels my fishy towel where's my fishy where's the fishy mm -hmm. so she folded them fishy there it is. In. there he is there he is fishy so they're actually southern tide yep but I just call them fishy towels. I didn't know that this was a brand. I had no idea. We thought no it was like clue. a Belk brand. We didn't I have any idea. I still don't know that I believe the lady, but. I don't know. You guys can let us know. Yeah. Made in Pakistan. If anybody from Pakistan is watching us, good job. We like the fishy towels. Yep. I love the little fishy. So there's one. All That's right. just like a bath towel she for me because towel. my my fishy bath towel got ruined when I dyed my hair red. Yep. So we have a couple of hand towels to match. Okay, yep, those are for the master bathroom. And we have two navy blue towels. Fishies. These are a dark blue, which I really like. These are gonna be for the guest bathroom. Yep, because so. our guests are dirty, so we need dark colored towels. <laughs> I'm yes, just I'm kidding. <laughs> I just figured Paul would like that. Let's let's look I do at his like face. That, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm now I'm now thinking of of all our, our friends watching this. I know I need to be careful <laughs> because we have yeah a lot of friends that watch yeah. our channel. I was totally just joking. Yeah. Hi Terry, <laughs> if you're watching this, you can come use this towel. <laughs> Terry can use that towel right there. She can use a special one. Okay, so all right, let's we see. have fishy towels. Yep. What's next? All right, let's see. Next, we will show your shoes. Oh, I got shoes. Shannon got shoes. The Walking Company. I have talked about the Walking Company before. Shannon Again? got shoes. That could be, that could be a channel. That could be a channel. Shannon got shoes. Okay, so we're not sponsored by the walking company. They don't even know we exist other than we go in and buy their shoes. But they just have really good shoes if you have foot problems. Yeah, even if you don't have foot problems. They have yeah, really even if shoes. you don't. But if you do, yep. I swear by them. Yeah, They're... I have flat feet. Shannon has plantar or fasciitis. Yeah, and I have super duper high arches and yep. a high instep. So it's really hard to get yeah. good shoes. Anyway. All right. This was an impulse purchase. Shannon went in to look at tennis shoes. Now, you know, I just did a shoe declutter and we're showing two more shoes. Okay, this is the shoe clutter video. The shoe clutter video. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. opposite of the declutter. Yes. So, so I have a lot of tennis shoes already, but I wanted like a thinner profile tennis shoe, if that makes sense, and a lighter weight. So these are like walking shoes. They're very lightweight compared to regular tennis shoes. And... I don't know. They're just cool. They're really comfortable. I got nice inserts in there so my feet won't hurt. And I just think they're cool. Yep. When I walked into the store, Shannon had these on and she was like, these are so comfortable. I was bouncing up and down. Yes. I was testing them out. Yep. And Shannon, Is that when you knew you had to buy them? Yeah. Shannon don't bounce. Shannon, <laughs> Shannon don't bounce. Not often. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now I see why you guys write and say we're funny. Yeah. Who says that? Shannon, a, don't bounce. That could be on a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See, whoever it was that left that comment yeah. about the I don't trust blonde spiders t-shirt, you now have us thinking. That's right. <laughs> okay, okay, impulse purchase. All right, same brand. A bail. So Shannon saw these flip-flops on sale. Yeah, so I'm not a actually, big flip-flop wearer. I actually usually only wear them like if we go to the beach or the swimming pool or the gym yep. to swim. Um, but I just have like really cheap flip-flops from Target, so they're not supportive on my foot at all. And look, these have nice arch supports and they're squishy and there's a lot better. And then we're half off. Cool. So I'm looking like the price tag is going to be on the <laughs> bottom. Not. They were half off. So I figured while they were half off, I was going to go ahead and get them. Because I have a big foot. Uh, big foot Shannon. <laughs> Shannon got shoes. <laughs> um, I wear between a size 10 and 11. But I'm also tall. So if I had small feet, I'd tip over. Mm -hmm. But the size 11 shoes always sell. Like out. Fast. So yeah. I was excited to find these on half price. So put the camera what? on me. Uh-oh. So I'm just saying, Shannon, if you want to start a channel called Shannon Got Shoes, I am more than happy to buy you all the shoes that you want to have. Ooh. Yeah. But you would have to model the shoes on camera and stuff. So I'm not sure if that's something you're ready for. 
Interesting. But you, but you guys could let Shannon know in the comments down below. Interesting. All the shoes I want. Yeah. What about all the Louboutins I want? No problem. <gasps> Ooh, guys. Well, there you are. Paul's in a good mood. Yep, Paul's in a good mood. <laughs> okay, so right. shoes. Okay. While I love these shoes, Louboutins, they are not. No, you can actually walk in these. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever talked about your Louboutins? I don't know. Have I? I don't think you ever have. Oh. Yeah, Shannon's got a pair, one pair of Louboutins. I do. Bought. That she bought. I have the classic black patent with yeah. the red soles. You're going to have to show those one day. Yeah, I can't. I can walk in them, just not Shannon, long. <laughs> Shannon just chooses not to. Yeah. Which is a good... They're my good, show shoes. Yeah, her show shoes. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that's... Do you do you guys know why I have Louboutins? Here, I don't even know if, if you can see me. Can they see me? Yeah, here, I'll hold the camera. Switching the camera. Okay, there we go. The reason why I have Louboutins is because one year we were in New York, what, two years ago now? Yes, two years ago now. And Paul likes to go shopping when we're in New York for our events. And he said, let's go to Saks and the store's beautiful. And he's like, let's go to the shoe department. And an entire floor of the New York store is a shoe department. And we went to look at the Louboutins just because I kind of secretly always wanted a pair. And he's like, get one. Get one, try them on. So I must have tried on. How many pairs of shoes did I try on? That you day? try. Okay, so that sales associate was great. She was awesome. They have the best sales associates there because she was nice. Mm -hmm. She wasn't like stuffy. <laughs> right. And she really knew what she was doing because she's like, okay, well, I didn't have that one that you wanted to look at, but I brought out these five other pair that you might like in your size. Yeah, and she immediately saw your arch, so she yeah. she knew that certain styles were going to be a good fit and certain weren't. Yep. And that really helped. It um, did help. We almost bought two pairs that trip. Well, we did buy two pairs of shoes that trip, but only we one did. pair of Louboutins. We almost bought two pairs of Louboutins that trip. Yeah. Paul was not in as good of a mood that day. <laughs> <laughs> Although I still so, think about I still think about that pair of shoes, and you should have the had pink them. ones. No, no, they didn't have the pink ones. Well, they it was had... the white ones with the spikes. Oh yeah, those yeah. were nice shoes. Yep. Anyway, but we okay. bought a pair of Ugg boots that day. Yes. Okay. So anyway, back anyway, to so the story. So I have Louboutins because of him, because he's like, I want you to have a pair of those before you leave. So I'm not gonna argue. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You don't argue. <laughs> yeah. Shannon had been thinking about it for a while. We, she got the, the pair of basic black round toe pumps yep. um, with the you know classic red sole and everything. Yep. So it was kind of between the the black patent or the the nude or beige patent. Yeah, but um, I figured the black ones were like yeah. just perfect. And they kind of are. And if I go there and they have like Barbie pink or bubblegum pink, whatever color, it's like a hot pink patent. Yeah. If they have those... They're gonna be mine. Yeah. I'm just saying. I will fight somebody in the store for those pink shoes. <laughs> they will be mine. I will start an auction in the store. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. So, back to the haul. No, back to oh. now. You're gonna now you're gonna show me. Now I'm gonna show you. Yep. Okay. All right. So last trip when we were in New York, I took Shannon to the Saks Fifth Avenue store. Uh oh. And said, "Okay, you want a pair of Louboutins? You can buy a pair." And she didn't buy a pair. Well, because they didn't have a pair that yeah. were just like. Shannon, you have to buy these. If the shoes don't speak to you, you don't need to buy them. Shannon was not in a good mood for shoes. <laughs> <laughs> My feet hurt. <laughs> we, we had walked a lot. <laughs> we had walked how many miles already? Probably. We, we, were, we were walking approximately eight miles a day. But there we, were some days that was a little more. No, I feel I feel like eight eight was the average, and I'm, I'm giving mm -hmm. you the average. Okay, so, the so, average. So yes. we were walking eight miles a day, and we had been there for four full days. This was our fifth day there. And Shannon was tired. <laughs> Shannon was tired. And Shannon's feet hurt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I didn't have, well, I did have good shoes on, but you just walk so much. Yeah, yeah. The shoes that you had on this time, which were. They were the best ever. Which were, they were from the walking company. Yes. Um, they, were, they were boots, the Abeo boots. Yep. Um, yeah, they were the best shoes you've ever had in New York. Yes. So, they so were. Anyway. They okay. were definitely the best. Okay. Right. Now, back to the hall. Back to the hall. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Rabbit trails. We keep yeah. getting going. So let's see. What you can show that. Yeah, I'm going to show this. So yeah. here. So we ended up. Pull the receipt out. Okay. This is one of the things that was the junk in our trunk that we showed you out in yeah. front of the container store. We had to exchange the duvet insert. Never thought I'd be a guy with a duvet. You now have a duvet. No, so the one that they had 
sent us was broken. Yep. So. so we exchanged it. It's kind of like lumpy in there because they actually pulled it out in store to make sure that the little tabs were good. Yeah. Which is awesome because then we didn't come home right. again with another one that didn't work. All right. So, so there's the duvet. That is going to go on. Or in. In. <laughs> That's what it's going to do. It's going to go inside of this duvet cover. Yep, so this is the one that we showed you in store. Yeah. It's already been in or on a duvet once. Yes. Till we realized the duvet was broken. Yep. So I'm excited to put this on the new duvet and kind of get the bed all made up. And then we have these yep. king size pillowcases. Those are a navy blue linen yeah. pillowcase. These are really nice. These are king size. Ooh. We should probably like steam them or iron them. Possibly. They have big wrinkles. <sighs> That does Is that not helping? count. Steaming. <laughs> oh that, my did you? goodness! No, I didn't. You That's guys. That's what you're gonna sleep on too, right there. Your face is gonna be right there. Well, no, me. we're not sleeping on those. Those are just gonna be decorative. <laughs> you're killing me. Okay. <laughs> decorative so, pillows. So since ugh, we're talking about that. Okay. So I ended up getting these from Sam's Club. Ooh, the Hotel Premier Collection. Yeah. Two packs. Egyptian uh, cotton. Oh, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Step back. Oh, no. Step back. <laughs> Step back. And you can tell the story. Okay, well, don't do it yet. I'm not going to. Step okay, so the people in Pottery Barn were, were nice. so nice. The GM was there. He was amazing. What was yeah. his name? Do you remember? Taz. 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 He was amazing. Awesome. We would shop there all the time with him. Yes. I mean, he was great. Anyway, there were a few chairs that we wanted to test out and they didn't have any on the floor. And like Paul had mentioned, we're kind of visual. So we like to sit in it and feel it yeah. before buying. So they're like, well, we think we have some in the back. If we do, we'll bring them out. Right. Long story short, they did. Yep. So you know, in the plastic wrap and everything. Yeah, they like unboxed them, yep. fresh brand new chairs. Well, one of the ones they brought out it was, was a furniture. like a yeah, it was like a wicker chair yep. and then it had a cushion on it. And the cushion was, was wrapped yeah. in plastic because you know all their furniture comes really nice and protected. Yeah. Well, Paul wanted to try the chair. So I sat in it. So he sat in it and then like the whole thing bubbled up with air. Yeah, so, so he couldn't sit in it and yeah, feel. So I'm just sitting on this big cushion of air. Let's see if this, let's see if it works this way. Oh, oh it did it fast. It too fast. <laughs> so Paul in this nice store sits on it and he decides, well, if I pop a small hole, hole in, the plastic? in the plastic, the air will release and then I'll be able to feel the chair. <laughs> Seriously, you guys, you should have been yeah. there. It was like, <laughs> and like I'm, I started up in the chair like this. And I gradually sink down. It sounded like this giant fart noise uh, for for quite a long time. The designer who was working with us was cracking up. Other customers were laughing. I mean, I yeah. I almost had a moment where I was going to wet myself. It was yes. so funny. They're, so anyway. These aren't really nice pillows. Actually, I mean, like, these feel like really nice pillows. It's 100% Egyptian cotton. Okay. Well, they do feel nice. Yeah. Cool. All right. Okay, so we have pillows. Oh, you're gonna. This has already been 14 minutes. People That's are okay. gonna be tired of us. Yeah, maybe. Although you guys did say you liked the longer vlogs, so yeah, hopefully I mean, you, you meant always, it. You can always pause the vlog and come back to it later. If you need yeah. To, I've done that. I do that too, actually. All right, here we go. Paul and a decorative pillow, but not the decorative pillow that caused the problem. No. Okay. So okay, so that looks nice. That's gonna look really nice. So. That's... Yeah. Perfect. Looks great with our blankets. Yep. All right. So okay. Rest of the hall. So the way the pillows oh. are going to go is they're going to be that navy blue pillow. There's going to be a gray pillow sham. More decorative pillows. See, they're over there. There's two more pillows over there waiting. We had to order the shams because yeah. they didn't have oh, it's a king shame. size. All right. It's a sham. It's a sham. It's a sham. This and is the shame. this is the decorative pillow that caused Paul problems. It's really pretty. <laughs> okay, so you guys said you liked that gray quilt that we had bought, and we really we liked really it, like too. it too. It just did not fit the bed right for mm -hmm. some reason. So we got this other thing. So we're gonna get it all set up and then we'll show you. But like Paul said, there'll be a navy 
pillowcase, then a gray sham, and then this is going to be sitting yep. in front. So, so we're going to show them that in a different vlog, like a different day, like once the gray shams come in, I'm assuming. Yeah, we can okay. show it all done then, yeah. but we could also just fix the duvet and show them yeah. now. <laughs> so that's kind of, so imagine a gray sham right here, if you can, if it just doesn't blow your mind to imagine a gray sham. <laughs> So maybe we should go ahead and say goodbye now in case we don't make the bed and then we won't leave everybody hanging. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Okay. All right. So bye guys. So we'll see. <laughs> it's like Paul and I got into coffee today, but we didn't. No, I feel pretty good. We're just happy. We are. All right. All right. Well, thanks for watching guys. We hope you enjoyed coming with us and seeing the sham that our yes. life is. <laughs> yes, that's right. Anything else you want to say, Paul? I think that's it. All right. Thanks it. for watching, guys. In case we don't film anything else, we'll see you in the next vlog. See you later.